Hey, Steve Bergen here, and I'm going to try to get started with you on hopscotch with variables. So take a look at this outcome right over here. And what I've got is a program in hopscotch which draws this maze-like shape where there are line segments, each one going around. If you want to see it in action, it looks like this. My sprite is drawing not a square, but a line segment that increases by length just a little bit each time and comes up with this shape. So I think third, fourth, fifth graders would like this and would like this challenge. Now you can take the challenge if you want to pause the video right now and see if you can do it, but I'm going to go on and show you the program. And most importantly, I want to talk about the program. The commands are on the left. It's a repeat loop that does something a hundred times. That's what's in blue. We start by setting the variable to something before we begin. So set the variable for C before we begin is a common programming structure. In fact, in many, many programming classes, we call the area before the repeat loop the header. And we say, have you designated what the value is of the variable? Then comes the repeat loop. We leave a trail, of course. And now all we're doing is a common programming technique. We're increasing C by 2 so that C is now bumped up by 2. You can see the effect of the maze if we increase C by 3 or 4 or 5. We move the distance C so something happens. We rotate 90 degrees so we have our shape. So it's a very simple program. Whoops, sorry about the battery. It's a very simple program. And yet, you can challenge your students, right, to study it, modify it, see if they could do it. And now they're gaining a little glimpse as to what variables are. Changing this to be, I don't know, eight. What's that effect gonna be? And you could say to students, what's that going to be when you do that? How is the maze going to be different than what it used to look like? All right, so this is a first starter video on using variables in hopscotch. All right, more to come. Hope this gets you started and is helpful. Bye, everybody.